Hey, I'm James from Smoking Dad Barbecue, and today we are doing smoking hot two ways hot and fast and hot and spicy buffalo wings on the Smoke North Carlisle 60 gallon offset. So, this evening is one of those days where the morning started off with frost and even a chance of snow, and by late evening, the skies have cleared, the weather's warmed up, the birds have returned, and so this is a last minute cook. So that means we're not able to do some of the things we know turn out an amazing chicken wing like the overnight dry brine. This gives the salt time to penetrate our chicken, but more importantly, time in the refrigerator helps dry out that skin and get a crispy result. But I've never done chicken wings on my brand new offset and I can't wait to see if going hot and fast can turn out an amazing result in no time. So with that said, let's build our fire, season up our wings and see if we can turn out some smoking hot buffalo chicken wings on our offset. We've got about five pounds of wings between our two packs here. So the game plan, since we're doing this very quick, turning it around, normally I would love to salt dry brine these overnight, which would give salt time to penetrate as well as dry out the skin. But since we are just coming straight from the store onto the grill, we're gonna get these off onto some paper towel, pat them dry, and hit them with one of our pre-made rubs from Killer Hogs, because we're going for hot buffalo wings. Take it fast forward while we get these out, pat them dry and get a rub on. Okay, those look good. Let's get some rub on both sides. Okay, those look good. Let's get them on the smoker. All right, we're rocking along at about 500 degrees. It's gonna be a hot and fast cook. Let's get these on. Okay, I already know from my biscuit test on the offset Carlisle, that's what this is, that I get incredibly even heat even further. So just went for a dump and spread. Let's close our door and get cooking. All right, I think our wings are about ready for some sauce. Let's go check them out. All right, our wings have been on about 20 minutes. Let's see how we're doing already. You can see that nice crispy skin. Ooh, I can't even keep my hands in there. So these wings are ready for sauce. Let's grab our bowl, sauce them up. So the radiant heat just coming out of the firebox is high. So I've got my high heat gloves so we can reach in, transfer these to a bowl and sauce them up. Put them back on, let that sauce tack up. I'll take you fast forward. Going for the pre-made sauce today. Again, if we had some time, that's something that's really nice to do, but in a jiffy, this will work. Otherwise, just Frank send some buffalo melted together and back on the grill. You can give that about 10 minutes or so for the sauce to tack up. Okay, our sauce has been on for 10 minutes. I think it's time to get them off. Let's go take a look, remove them from the pit and dig in for our taste test. Oh, those look good. All right, let's get them off. I'll get a plate. I'll take you fast forward so you don't have to wait too long. I know I don't want to wait long because I really want to know if that tastes half as good as it looks. All right, moment of truth. Let's find out how our hot and fast smoked chicken wings on the offset turned out. I've got a drum and a flat. Let's start with our flat here. Looks good. Mm. Mm. Nice clean bite. Mm. I love buffalo wings. Let's go for our, a drum. Ooh, got some kick, hit me now. Okay, so how do we do? Well, we definitely have the kick that we want as well as that smoke. That is a really 
nice clean smoke. It's really easy to overdo it on chicken. And the heat profile is definitely there. I'm gonna burst out into a sweat in a matter of moments. Now, in terms of the skin, I actually think this might have been too hot too quick. We cook these just barely over 20 minutes and they were all the way up to temperature. I actually think a little bit lower might have given more time for that chicken skin to render versus some of the sugars in the rub starting to burn. As that's good, that's not the best chicken wing that I've ever done. Let me know in the comments if you've got a hack for crispy chicken skin wings. I think going a little bit lower and a little bit slower as I didn't really fully appreciate just how much of a sports car my 60 gallon offset can be with adding a couple splits and immediately racing up to hot temperatures just shy of about 600 degrees on the collector stack. No problem getting there and holding high temperatures really, really in a short period of time. But I think for today's chicken wings, we could do a touch better next time. Let me know what you think in the comments. Love to hear your thoughts on how we can get even crispier chicken skin on wings in an offset smoker. That's about it for today though. I'm James from Spoken Dad Barbecue signing off. And remember, don't be afraid to fire it up.